All right, so the way that the control system works when it comes to the elevators is through push rods. And the first push rod comes from that control column assembly that we have in the front, the control stick assembly. That comes back, but that's down low. And so we need to get it up high in order to reach the tail. So what happens is we have to build this assembly here that is what's called a bell crank. A bell crank is something that has a pivot point and, and essentially makes one movement in one direction turn into the opposite movement in the other direction at the top and transfers that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that here. We're going to build an assembly, uh, actually Jake's going to do it, that right over here takes those uh, that push rod from the bottom moving that way and moves it to an assembly that has it moving at the top as you can see here. So we need to build that. Uh, Jake will be doing that over on the table. Let's get to work. So the elevator is operated using push rods and we already put the bell crank in place so it's time to put the push rods in. Now the push rods have to be actually assembled. We have these tubes that we've already primed and you have these ends that go on them and so we need to seat the ends into the tubes. We're going to tap those into place and then we need to drill into there. To drill it we're going to use a fixture that actually makes sure that our drill bit is going straight through. And uh, that's this little piece right here. It's got a kind of a V on it from one side and it's nice and tall so it makes sure that the drill bit is staying true. So let's tap these in, let's get them drilled and then we can put our rod ends in and actually see this whole system function.
So now it's time for the moment of truth. Jake did a great job getting that bell crank all set up so that the lower torque tube controls the upper torque tube going all the way to the elevator in the back. So now it's my turn where I can get into the forward cockpit, sit here with the control stick and see how it moves the elevator up and down. As you can see, if you look back there, it is so cool to see a control surface actually moving all the way from the cockpit. Next up, we've got the rudder system. We'll get that in place as well. Finish the forward cockpit. We've got a lot of very, very cool things coming up. So for socialflight.com, I'm Jeff Simon. Be sure to check out Social Flight and the free Social Flight mobile apps. Tens of thousands of aviation events and destinations. We've got $100 hamburger, airport restaurants all over the world. It is so, so cool. And if you apply the fly to win challenge, you could win from tens of thousands of dollars of prizes just for doing some flying. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more and we will be coming up with so many more cool things for you to see. We really appreciate all of you joining us for this journey with our Titan T51D Mustang. So again, thank you. I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight Blue Skies.